I love these bears. They'll end. Screw you. Wank. Oh, there's a mug. <laughs> hey, look, it's every YouTube collab ever. What have you got roped into buying? Stop on a stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we are, just as a little a little week getaway thingy. Nothing really that special, just thought I'd show you a selection of clips. What do you think, Nathan, who's totally here and not edited in post? Hello, Nathan here, in real life. I think Norfolk is good, and that is why I came a second time. I enjoy being in Norfolk, which is where I am right now. Yeah. Yeah, you totally showed up. This is our home for the week. Hi. Should have texted. Don't get the fourteen calls. They're all. Yeah, they're all right. Wow. How exciting. Isn't this a riveting video? What do you think, Nathan, who's totally here? Hello everyone, it is me, Nathan, at the arcade, which is where I was in 2020. I came again in 2022, which is this year. Right now, I am here. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, I'm happy to get me money back. Mum's found her calling in life. <laughs> what is he doing? Come on, Mike, we'll get your card out. Sanitize your hands. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Well, I can flip it in post, can't I? You're on the ceiling, whoa! That's a typewriter. I'm getting a bit of vertigo already. Go for an upside down shit. We can take this upside down. <laughs> Go, Mum, you're on the ceiling. <laughs> Looks like she's doing a handstand on the on the chair. Brilliant. Beautiful. Go on. <laughs> yeah, he's not. This yeah. is going to be interesting. Oh, what? <laughs> so I just noticed this while editing. But this place gets bonus points for having the COVID sign upside down. <laughs> like, that's dedication. Oh, yeah. Nearly headbutt a chair. Did you get that? Yeah. Can you take your photo? <laughs> yeah, but I'm videoing it, so it's fine. Crawling along the floor, go on. Crawl! <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. That's it. Right, do you want to go anywhere else? Do you want to go over here to the bed? Come on, lay on the bed. How can I lay on the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> How can I lay on that bed? Lay on the floor, didn't you? I've got a headache. That's a triceratops. Would you call it a stegosaurus? It is a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Ah. <gasps> Unbelievable. The mad lads did it. They made valve real. Fifteen pound per person. You got a problem? You take it up with Leo the lion. He'll fucking kill you. 
How nice of them to pay tribute to the old Mr. Roar outro. Wait, say that again? Say that again exactly how you said it? Big bit of seagull shit on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at them. Scale of 1 to 10, how offensive is this stuff going to be? What? Ready? <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's having PTSD. Lovely. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, lovely. I mean, I expected it sooner or later. Oh, Clear the ball. Clear the ball. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. No! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Oh my. How would you rate your gambling experience? Not good at the moment. I'm all gambled out. I swear, this machine, yeah, it just did it. This machine, this machine keeps going, like, hauling you over. Are they allowed to do that? There. Shut up. <laughs> if you know, you know. Analog horror, be like. Show them my future so far, our single pound. Come on over and let Zoltar be sharing with you your fortune. Yay. Yeah, Zoltar said I spend way too much time on my phone. Someone who's going to visit me next month who will bring great happiness. Davis, are you coming down and haven't told me? Ticket dispenser empty. Oh, I love this game. Ticket dispenser empty. Oh, yes. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. Mirrors are more fun than television. Where's the splash? Nathan in the future. Oh, nice. My friends are pretty cool. You know who you are. Um, um.
Hello. Alcohol is good, but also bad. It's definitely the worst I've been in a while. I don't remember a lot. Last thing I remember was Brandon pouring me a drink, and then a huge blur, and then puking into a toilet. <laughs> I don't know what happened in between those two things. I know I ate a lot of pizza, but that's it. <laughs> Where are we going? Head north. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Can you vlog? Yeah, I'm not feeling it. We've got to go. Marco wants me to vlog and I'm crap at it, so... See you soon. Get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice house. Yeah, it's a porcupine. Yeah. Bigger than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Go, give a tour. Right, these are called Siamese crocodiles. Yeah, move it. Went down and come up again. Oh, bless. Imagine that just taking your hand off. The marsh crocodiles, aka the big bastards. Turning around. Look at that. Wow. Nothing. That's taking it at me. Me. Whoa, what's that? It's a red panda. What, what are you doing out of your cage? I skate. Oh, right, okay. What are you doing out of your cage? I, I don't have one. They never bothered to build me one. I'm That's how little they care. I'm urban exploring the boy in the zoo. <laughs> nice and healthy, isn't it? <laughs> Thing. Like, there's not really much between us and them. So it's something just cocking your leg over and fire <coughs> one of them. <laughs> you want to do? I might do. I might have already done that. You don't know. Cause I... Look at her. She's not following the one-way system. I think that one's for the. No, coming back. Yeah, my leg's stuck. Is it weird? This is making me hungry. There's a wild stick in its natural environment. And a wild pellet in this natural environment. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> what are you antagonizing the wildlife for? <laughs> Let's just leave him. He's having a psychotic episode. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> He's having a breakdown. Let's just leave. <laughs> and now, an impromptu episode of Urban Explorer Boys. What do you see? Urban Explorer Boys Zoo Edition. Look, it's an abandoned house. Wow. An abandoned room with a fireplace. There appears to be a fireplace. Is or was there at one point? Yes, there was. At one point. <gasps> there's, there's an attic as well. There's an attic? Yeah, there's an attic opening space room for you. Wow, I can see nothing but my own reflection. <laughs> <laughs> They've locked the door so we can't get in. <laughs> looks like it might be a boy. What, you see a stick? Monkey puzzle tree. Less of a monkey puzzle, more of a furry builder. It's a monkey puzzle tree. If it isn't a monkey puzzle tree, whatever that is. Mm, less of a monkey puzzle, more like furry dildo. I really like how there are just stairs embedded in this tree. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a little bit sad for the tree, but you know, it's kind of cool. You're in the 
tree. Oh, that reminds me, I had a bacon sandwich this morning. Oh, <laughs> lower the tire. Don't touch the feet. Don't call it over because that's electric. Yeah, they do look cute. He's wagging his tail. <laughs> Mr. Tiger's over here just vibing. My favourite animal. Now imagine if these weren't here. The tiger could get up and get up all the way up here and just rip us to shreds. <laughs> Don't mind me, mister. Just carry on doing your thing. Camera shy. I see. Don't worry. Well, that was an interesting day. Wasn't wasn't that fun? What do you think, Nathan, who's totally here right now and not just put in post? Hello, I am Nathan. I very much enjoyed the zoo, which is where I went today with you and my family because I was here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I agree. So now we're going on a boat trip. We're gonna get our boat and we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna go boating. We're gonna go, we're gonna go on a boat. Boat, boat time. And I'm, I'm really regretting not wearing a jacket because it's fucking freezing. Wow. How would you rate your experience? <laughs> Zero. Look at him go. <laughs> this, looks, this looks so surreal. We're gonna feed the ducks. Oh no! Who's that dude with this? Hello! I'm not sure if this is beautiful or terrifying, but... How would you rate your experience on the, on the North Broads today, sir? Terrible. Why? It's too wobbly and too wet. There he is. There he goes. I want my ice cream. <laughs> Perfect, I've got your full body in. It's gonna be a meme. I can already tell. <laughs> Sun's out there, this thing. I've got a bad name. <laughs> How would you rate your first mooring experience? Uh, zero. We survived, baby. <gasps> so frightening. Go, Brandon, go. It's okay, dude. Just, just pull off without him. <laughs> Start going. We'll drag him along. Everyone on? Yep. Hey yo boys, welcome to Boat Vlogs. I'm out here on the North Broads with my boy. He's encroaching our space. Someone's encroaching our space. I'll keep you updated. Look out! Ah! Oh, Did you know there's an emergency? battery isolator under your seat? No. I can't tell you what to do because I'm driving. I've been driving Bessie here for about 20 years. Wide open road. Michael, you heard him talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a pile of ducks in the way. Mind all them sailing boats over there. Stop talking. Is the mic on? I hope you ever get in sound. I don't know if we're going to There's a green light. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
Would you rate the Victorian era? Yeah, good. Post. Game. Water. Hey. There she goes. It's wet. There's the mouse. There he is. Wow, look at that totally realistic sound. Look at him. Well, you look depressed. Is, is that... Is that Tom Baker? Is that... I think I just met Tom Baker. I'm a sort of god. I couldn't wait, actually, to, you know, to starve myself or, or die of thirst. It's a bit futuristic for a uh, Victorian time. <laughs> oh dear. That's what work. very dangerous now. So they've got right to the top. Where are we? In the Kipper station. <laughs> In the Kipper station. Smoked, smoked herring station where they smoked all the, the fish. <laughs> but that's itchy jumper. Oh, you dumb up. Oh, you go up there soon, I think, can't you? It's amazing. It's like she was driving that boat yesterday. <laughs> all is fish that comes to the net. What? Ah, oh, wait, it's one of these things. Oh, well, that's nice. They have a little space just so people can come and, like, rest if it all gets a bit overwhelming. Look, there's a fish. Kind of ruins the aesthetic, but I really like the, uh, I like the inclusion of that. It's very, very wholesome. Hello, darling. Hello. Awful. <laughs> Look how many other kippers are there. So he's, he's clambering up there with him. She's passing them up there and he's putting them all in here and the fires and in there and the bottom. It's a pirate. A proper one. The town that grew out of the sea. I don't like the sound of that. The Berg Castle helmet. Oh. <laughs> Imagine getting fish this big nowadays. Oh, crocodile up there. Look at the size of this boy. That's how big it is. It's a menu yeah. from the Titanic. Yeah. If this is real, this is amazing how it survived.
this hen was rescued from the vessel Sudan after it was wrecked on the Scrooby Sands. The hen was rescued and here it is in a glass case. <laughs> Amazing. The ship's wheel from the seabed. So this is an actual wheel. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull it up in 1972, but I don't know where it comes Must touch. Great Yarmouth. Just lovely. Father and the rest of the cats. Only good old birds reporting the last of the day's action. Yeah. May 24th, 1970, Flight Lieutenant Cadbury. They look really uncomfortable. For context, we're in this little museum thing. I think we're in the 60s right now, aren't we? 60s, 70s, yeah. moving up to the 80s and 90s. Okay, so for a bit of context, there's this phone and it keeps randomly ringing. I think they want us to pick it up. I think they want us to pick it up. So we gotta wait. My nan had one of some, something similar to this. Oh, I like one of these. I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, I don't want to break the immersion, but that's a Cyberman from 2006. <laughs> <laughs> so, I appreciate what they're going for, but come on. Oh, there. phone. What was it? What the voice on the other end actually told me was that this was a supposed memory phone, as they call it, and I'm not entirely sure what it was or what it was supposed to do because it was actually broken. It told me to dial certain numbers to hear memories that people have recorded, but the keypad thing was broken, so instead this just happened. Yeah. It just said if I want to listen to memories, then I press a button, but the buttons aren't working, so... This bit has an air purifier to make all of the, uh, the paintings, I don't know, not deteriorate, I guess. Who the fuck are you? They've got these uh, reviews at the end, which I can only assume to be written by, you know, children. And uh, look, I had the happy. <laughs> Ed's world. Yeah. Oh, well, the weather's got better. Did you enjoy your trip to the past? What's this? The sign looks ancient. Weather's bad, so I'm gonna put you under my coat. Yeah. Wow, look at the wall. Uh... See, how can people not find this stuff interesting? Like, look, it goes all the way, all the way up there. And although I'm on the brink of death, although I'm on the brink of death because of this weather, it's worth it. It's worth it because look. Look 
Can can you get that? Can you get that outside your doorstep? Don't think so. The mics fell off as well. <laughs> it's all just falling apart. Literally. Yeah. I'll admit defeat. Let me in. Going home tomorrow. <laughs> Have you had fun? Yes, I have. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Do you want to do me a favour and what? take us out to the end screen? The end screen? Where's that? Coming up right now. End it for me. Go. Thanks for watching. Don't subscribe. <laughs>